everybody. It is time for another game of Right Start Mathematics Winter Games. The game that we're going to play today is Magic Squares Memory. It's game A60 from the Math Card Games book written by Joan A. Cotter, and it's hosted by me, Kathleen Cotter Lawler. First thing is our objectives for this particular game is we're going to practice our addition facts. And we're going to practice using logic. And you'll see that as we get going with this. Cards and layout. We've got the basic number card. They look like this. And you use one set of the numbers one through nine for each player. So we're going to play with two. Christy and I are going to play today. So I've got two ones, two twos, two threes, all the way through up to nine. So I've got a total of 18 cards. Two or three people can play. And like I said, it's going to be Christy and I today. And we're going to lay the cards face down as for a memory game. And then what we're going to do, well, first let me tell you the objective of the game is we're going to build a magic square. Now, some of you are going, um, what's a magic square? Well, let me help you out here. This is a magic square. Now, I'm going to stop my video here so we can focus on the screen. This magic square, they have always have a five in the middle or these that we're going to play with today. I always have a five in the middle. And if you notice what are in the corners, I've got a two, a four, a six, and an eight. They're all even numbers. Look at the ones that are not in the corners. I've got one, three, five, seven, nine. Now there's something special about the magic squares, hence the name magic. Look, add these three numbers up in this row. What do they add up to? 15. Look at these. What do they add up to? 15. What do these add up to? 15. Look at my columns. What does this add up to? 15. This? 15. 4, 3, and 8? 15. We'll even look at my diagonals. Look at this. 2, 5, and 8. What does that add up to? 15. And the other diagonal. Wow, 15. Let's look at another one real quick here. So remember, what do I have in the middle? A five. What's in my corners? Even numbers. And all the rest are filled with odd numbers. So let's go ahead and play the game. I'm going to get Christy to help me. All right, we've got the game ready to roll. Christy and I are going to start. Now it's a memory game. So we've got them all face down. And so I'll take the first one. I pick a four. I know it's going to be a corner. So I'm going to put mine here. Okay, Christy, your turn. Five. And, and five is going to be up in the middle. Okay. So that'll be your middle. Yep. Okay, my turn. I turn over a seven. I can use a seven. I think I'm going to put it right next to here because remember, they need to equal 15. This is 11, so I know that this is going to be what to make 15? Oh, will be a four. Now that won't work then. So I can't put the seven there. I've got to put it somewhere else. So I've got a card here. I'm going to put it down here. Let's see if that works. Okay, your turn. Nine. I'm going to put it right here. Nine and five is 14, so I need a one. Yep. Okay, all right, my turn. I find a six. I'm going to take and put, I know it's going to fit in a corner. I know this will work because these two, actually this won't work here because this makes 10. If I need to make this be 15, that's going to have to be a five. I know five goes in the middle, so it can't go here. I'm going to put it down here. Okay, your turn, Christy. Six. So I know it needs to go in the corner. Yep, needs to go in the corner. So six and five will be 11, so I need a four. So that would work. That could be your corner. Let's scooch this in just a little bit more. There we go. Okay. So we can see. Move your nine a little closer. There we go. So we can see. Now the instructions in the book say, and let me show you real quick here. The instructions in the book say, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it does say that you can use like placeholder cards to so you can see what the space is. Christy and I aren't going to do that. We're going to give this a whirl here. Okay. So my turn. I turn over a three. I know I'm going to need a three. It's an odd. You know what? Since five is in the middle, I can put this here. So now I've got three 
This makes 10, five makes 15, I'm good. Okay, your turn, Christy. Eight. We need that recorder. Okay. Yeah. Because we did two there. Yeah, I think so. Okay. My turn. I need another eight. I'm going to put that. Let's see. If I go here, eight and six is 14 of one. Yeah, that'll work. What is this? Add seven. Yep. 15. Yep, I'm good. I've got my I've got my row there. Okay. A one. We got right here. Eight and nine. This is 15. Yes. No. No. That's 14. And besides, that's a corner. Do you need a oh, one in the corner? Oh, no, no, no. We need that. We need this right here. There you go. Because oh, now because nine and five is 14 plus one is exactly. 15. Okay, my turn. I find a one. I need a one. Now, if Christy would have found that, she would have turned that over because she already has a one, but I need a one. So this works well for me. Let's see here. So this is 14, 15. Right? 14, yeah. yep. Nine, yeah. yep, that's right. Okay, your turn. A four. We know it goes, we need it, we know it goes in the corner. We have to go up here. No. Yeah, 15. Six and four is 10 plus five is 15. Correct. Okay, All right, my turn. I find a nine, I need a nine. I'm gonna put my nine, it has to go here. Yes, because nine of one is 10 and five makes 15, okay? Wait, we've had no duplicates. Seven, so seven. Yeah, seven and eight is 14. Well, can it go in the top row? No. Because? It's too much. Yep. It can't go here because it's not even. So it's got to go right here. Yep. That's 13. Okay. okay. I found a five. Well, I know five goes in the middle. Yay. Okay, your turn. A two. Aha, a two. So eight and two is 10 plus five is 15. Correct. Then, that's 15. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. Three. Now, I've already got a three. So this is a three. I've got a three, so I can't take a turn. Now, it's Christy's turn. What do you need? A three. Okay, so which card are you going to choose? This one. Hello, she won. <laughs> Sometimes you'll end up with duplicates as the game progresses. Sometimes it takes a little bit. Well, Christy won that one. Uh, I think this is a really fun game. Notice how we practice our addition facts, we use logic, and we had fun. And that's what we need you to be doing with your kids, is to play this game and have a fun time. So that's it for today's game with Magic Squares Memory. Stay tuned for next week.